We move next here tonight to our cover story and that summertime heat we are all getting ready for over the coming days and weeks. But starting next month, a new state law will go into effect that says cities and counties no longer mandate certain heat protections for workers on the job in the hot Florida sun. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler looks at both sides. So as you can see, it's dusty, it's sandy. Contractor Todd Britton Har is getting this property ready to build townhomes and says keeping his workers healthy is a priority during the hot Tampa summer. We have our trailers and stuff over here that usually frequently have our water, our drinks. Britton Har says along with making sure his workers are hydrated, they get breaks, especially when the midday sun is at its strongest. He also gives his crew dry fit long sleeve shirts to protect them. And because of all the measures he takes, Britton Har says more rules just aren't needed. The more regulations you have, the more difficult it becomes, the more expensive it becomes. Millions of people in Florida have jobs that keep them out in the heat, from construction to agriculture. A new law signed by Governor Ron DeSantis goes into effect July 1st, preventing local governments from creating heat exposure requirements and banning mandated paid rest times, water breaks, and access to shade. Congresswoman Kathy Castor calls the ban on worker protections cruel. Because of this outrageous law, I'm asking the Department of Labor uh, and OSHA that has responsibility for worker protection across America to adopt a national heat protection standard. They are working on this. When we asked the governor about the new law, he told us the idea didn't come from him. It originated from concerns in Miami-Dade County. I don't think it was an issue in any other part of the state. I think they were pursuing something that was going to cause a lot of problems down there. So I think a lot of the members of the Dade delegation uh, created uh, that just to, to steer clear of those problems. What the governor is referring to was a proposal from Miami-Dade commissioners requiring shade and water for construction and farm workers. But opponents say those standards are unnecessary regulations that singled out the agriculture and construction industries. They say federal laws already issue fines for unsafe working conditions, including violations related to heat. But Castor says Floridians need to protect its workers who have jobs outside. Let's make sure our workers have these kind of protections, especially as these uh, the days are hotter. Uh, you know, and we, we see uh, escalation in the number of people who are dying from extreme heat. Meanwhile, as Britton Har gets going on another project, he says all his crew leaders are trained to protect their workers. You know, most of us are all native here. We lived here. It's very hot. We understand how to work. We understand to take care of our people. You know, I'm prior military, so we were taught always hydrate, 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 and we push that down through our training. Heat continues to be the leading cause of weather-related deaths across the United States. In Tampa, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.